Hello there guys, welcome back to another video here on Unis Talks Football. This is double upload day because we've got big news here. This is just too big to not cover. And I thought, okay, let's go and give my opinion on this because this is huge, huge for the stature. Is it huge in terms of what Manchester City are actually about to pull off though? We'll wait and see. And I've got Two sides of the coin to this story. Let's get into it. So, this has come from David Ornstein first, and then Fabrizio Romano, but David Ornstein give us the latest. Erling Haaland to Man City, a done deal. Plus, confirmation expected this week, according to sources in Germany. Personal terms complete, and Dortmund anticipates City informing them in the coming days of intention to activate release clause. That has been written for The Athletic. Fabrizio Romano has given us the also infamous, here we go. Erling Haaland to Manchester City, here we go. Haaland has passed medical tests as new Man City player today. He's back in Dortmund. It will be official this week. Man City told the Borussia Dortmund board that they will activate the release clause closer to 60 million euros than 75 million euros euros in a few hours unreal unreal and this was expected let's let's not act surprised we all knew this was going to happen um there was the debate as to whether it would be Real Madrid or whether it would be Manchester City but we all know Real Madrid are after Mbappe and I would doubt they'll be able to pull off at least in terms of salary Mbappe and Erling Haaland so Manchester City the team which do need a striker urgently need a striker They've got Gabriel Jesus and no one else. And even, you know, Jesus, not a striker, really. If you're looking deep, deep into it, in technicality, he's not a, he's not a number nine. Since Aguero, Man City have had that void, just a piece missing. But they still managed to get themselves around that. They're still competing for the league title, looking like they will be ending up champions at this rate. Three points ahead of Liverpool. Uh, champions League semi-final, not the worst thing in the world, let's be honest. FA Cup semi-final, not the worst thing in the world, let's be honest as well. But they have needed that striker. And we've all knew that if they get that number nine, if they just get what they used to have in an Aguero, they'll be complete. That's it. They will be complete. But, but... Is Erling Haaland that guy? Is he that guy? I know a lot of you are going to be like, yeah, of course he is. He's Erling Haaland. Of course, he's going to come and he's going to bang 35 goals a season. I can see why people think that, but I can also see why there are some people who are the minority at the moment saying, nah, he's going to come here and he's not going to do much. And I can also get it from that perspective. Why? Because when you come to the Premier League, it's a different beast. It's a different gravy. And as a Chelsea supporter, we said this about Timo Werner, man. We've got PTSD when it comes to the Bundesliga now. And I can only look at Erling Haaland and go, you know what? Yes, he's a top striker. He's young. His dad was at Manchester City. Like, there's a whole link here. Yeah, cool. But will he bang? Will he come to City? And will he actually smash it? One thing's for sure. He will find the Premier League tougher. He is still young and he's going to be learning and getting all that experience. And that will help him in the long run. But coming here and making a big impact from the get-go, people might be expecting a little bit too much, a little bit too soon. The one thing that works in Erling Haaland's favour is his size, the way he powers through, his speed. He's a fast striker. But, 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 in England, sometimes you don't have the space in order to use all of those attributes. Sometimes you just don't. When you're coming up against a Burnley, for example, now if they go down, they go down. But if you come up against a Burnley, or sometimes you come up against those sort of teams, an Aston Villa or a Southampton that just sit back and do nothing, you can't utilise the speed or the strength. Well, you're going to have to try and use as much strength as you can. But when you have defenders who are 6'5 next to you and know exactly how to break your legs... You're, you're going to have a hard time. Now, Erling Haaland, I look at as a striker and I think he should be able to cope. But he's not going to find it easy. He's not going to come to the Premier League and it's going to be yet goal after goal after goal after goal after goal like he does in Germany. And even in Germany, it's not the same every week. <laughs> you know, I honestly think for Manchester City, this is a good deal. They need a striker. I think in terms of finding someone that's going to complement their style of football, definitely Erling Haaland is going to fit in very, very nicely. And there's one thing you have to commend Man City in the same way we commend Liverpool for, is their scouting is class. When it comes to scouting and being able to pick out 
a profile of player, fantastic. Now, Erling Haaland, let's be real, you don't need a scouting department to know who Erling Haaland is and what he can do. He is a big money signing. He is a statement signing. He is someone that anyone on the planet would happily take into their team. But is it going to work? We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Now, at Chelsea, I know Chelsea wanted Erling Haaland and we couldn't get him because of multiple reasons, including finances. I mean, the amount that comes with Erling Haaland. Now, with all due respect, Mino Raiola, we know has passed away recently. We have to be real and we have to be logical here. Respect to him, to his family, to his friends, what they've gone through. He passed at a young age. I want to put that all to the side because you can't touch that. You have to be respectful about that. On a footballing level, Mino Raiola was able to demand so much in terms of fees, in terms of salary for his client, Erling Haaland, in terms of the whole package. Chelsea got turned off. The whole entire package of what Haaland, his team and Raiola demanded was just too much for Chelsea to accept. They said no. Therefore, we went to Lukaku instead. <laughs> we went to Lukaku. We got we got Romelu Lukaku. Did that pay off? No. Um, let's be logical. No. But when you're looking at Erling Haaland, Manchester City have the money to be able to cope with that. If there is a difference now because Mino Raiola, we have to be real, unfortunately, isn't here anymore. Has that impacted this deal? If it has, then Man City have been able to save a little bit of money, right? And they've probably made this deal a little bit easier. I want to say, though, Man City will be able to afford that regardless. What Chelsea could just say no to, Man City will probably be like, yeah, no problem, here you go. And now they're being investigated. There's a whole there's a whole saga about a secret investigation happening because of FFP and finances and inflating the numbers at the club and all sorts. Anyway, that's a different that's a different story for a different day. But Erling Haaland, the deal, Manchester City are one of those teams that would happily get it done. 60 million euros on a release clause is unbelievable. As Fabrizio says, closer to 60 than 75. That is ridiculous. You're basically signing Erling Haaland for what? 50, 55 million quid. That's just, that's, that's, that is ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous. By today's standard, that is stupid. That's insanely low. So it's good business. But will he succeed? There's one side of me that thinks overall, Erling Haaland will do well at Manchester City just because of the players he has around him, just because of the system he's going to be in, just because of the way Man City play their football. They're so demanding and they're so commanding in their play that Haaland will get chances. And you know Haaland is a top finisher. You put something on a plate for him, chances are he knows where the goal is and he is going to put it in there. Unfortunately for Chelsea, that's not been the case. <laughs> We've seen Timo Werner bang in Germany. He looked unreal at RB Leipzig. Unreal. When he signed for Chelsea, I'm thinking, that's it. We're sorted. We've got the striker we need. Why? Because we look at him at Leipzig and it was goal after goal after goal after goal. Now, I respect that Haaland has gone beyond that. Haaland has broken records. Haaland is the sort of guy that will bang in more goals than games played. Haaland's the sort of guy who's been setting Champions League records and done it on the European level. Like, that's quite unreal. And then again, there's Cristiano Ronaldo. But... That is unbelievable for a striker of his age. Brilliant. But it's still the Bundesliga. And it's a different gravy in the Premier League. So look, for those that are getting carried away, both sides of the spectrum. If you're a Man City fan going, oh, that's it. We've got everything. It's going to go mad. He's going to score 50 goals. Relax. If you're a rival fan who's scared, relax. Don't, don't, don't put all your eggs in one basket yet. Trust me. <laughs> And on the flip side, if you're just thinking, ah, he's going to do nothing, relax as well, because he does have the potential, he does have the ability, and where he's been playing, and where he could only play, depending on who's in front of him, he could only face who's in front of him, he's done a stellar job, stellar job. But, what do you think? Personally, I think it's not going to be as easy as people think. For him, I don't think he's going to come in. It's going to be plain sailing, go after go after go. I think there will be periods where people are going to start questioning him. I think there was going to be areas uh, of the season where people are going to be like, he's gone quiet. What's happened to Erling Haaland? I think that's going to happen, 100%. I'm pretty sure. But I think there's also going to be periods in the season where he gets a hat-trick. Next, next game, he gets two goals. Next game, he gets a goal. Then he misses a game, and then the next game, he gets two goals. I think there will be periods where he will be like, yeah, Erling Haaland, yeah, he's scoring. He's doing what he has to do. 
because it's Erling Haaland and the ability that he brings with him is quite unbelievable for his age and his stature. So we'll wait and see what happens. What do you think? I'd love to hear your opinions below. Are you scared? Are you not? Do you think he'll succeed? Do you think he'll fail? Do you think he will absolutely bang? Do you think he will go in the same direction as a Timo Werner at Chelsea, for example? Let me know. Coming from the Bundesliga, do you think that's going to have an impact? Do you think that it's not really going to phase him? Do you think the Premier League is tailor-made for him? Do you think it's not? I'd love to hear all of your opinions down below. Hit me up and let me know. I do read the comments. I want to hear what you guys think. Much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed this double upload. And tomorrow, I will see all of you again. So I'll see all of you again. Have a good one, people. Enjoy your night. Take care. See you tomorrow. And peace.